Today, we're going to talk about how heat transfers, hot and cold, how it transfers from atom to atom. Now, the old theory, the old magic atom, you got a proton and an electron, and this thing vibrates. Okay, that's what causes it to have heat. Vibrates back and forth while it's rotating around to speed of light. Okay, that's what they teach you. Man, when something vibrates, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it violates the laws of physics, momentum laws. All right. Now, if you take something that's vibrating, okay, like what this is supposed to do, if this vibrates and it touches something else, it's supposed to spread that vibration on so they all vibrate. And that's what's taught. But if you think about it, let's take a tuning fork. If you take a tuning fork and you hit it and you go, it's vibrating, and you touch it, does your whole body shakes? No. What happens when you touch the tuning fork? Boom. It stops. Just like that. Now, that's what this should do too. But under their theory, it doesn't. Well, I'm going to show you something that's way, way, way better than this. You have two wheels. One wheel is spinning at, let's say, 200 RPMs. Spinning like this. And you have another wheel here that's not spinning at all. What happens when you touch the two wheels? What happens? This one will slow down from 200 RPMs. This one will go from zero, and both of them will spin at 100 RPMs. And if you can understand that, you can understand how heat transfers in the key ring atom. And I'm going to step over here, and I'm going to show you how simple this is. Now, as we come over here, this is a cross-section of a key ring atom. This is a hot one. Let's say it is spinning at 200 RPMs. This is a cross-section of a cold key ring atom, close to absolute zero, very small electron rings. Now, if these were two wheels spinning, this one's spinning at 200, this one is spinning, this one spins at 200, this one spins at zero. If these were two wheels, what would happen? This one is going to slow down, and this one is going to speed up. So when you touch the two of them, what would happen is, you go to a cross section here, they're going to reach an average speed, and they're going to be like this right here, and it will be spinning at 100 R, uh, RPMs. So if you took a 150 and a 50, and you touched them together, what's going to happen? They're going to go to the average speed. It's going to share like two wheels touching. It'll go to this speed. Now, once one of these rings starts to spin, what it will be doing is these will touch. They will bang. They're going to have back and forth. And so the heat will transfer throughout the whole atom to the other side. And that's how you get heat transfer in the key ring atom. It's very simple. If you take an ice cube and you something cold and you drop it in some warm water, the wheels are going to touch, electron rings are going to touch, they're going to come to the same speed, and you're going to have cold water. All the wheels are going to spin at the same speed. All the electron rings will spin at the same speed. That's what heat transfer is, and it's very simple with the key ring atom, because physics and chemistry are easy with the correct geometry.